Welcome back. This time we are going to create images from the Sentinel Gallery using Leonardo AI and Runway ML. Let's get started by opening up Leonardo AI and clicking on Image Creation. Due to stricter content filtering on free accounts, Leonardo AI requires a paid account to generate these images. We need to make sure we are running in legacy mode, and this time we only need to generate one image, but you can still generate four if you want. Make sure Alchemy V2 is enabled to expand our selections, and then we can select the Anime XL model and ensure we are in dynamic mode. Click to add an element and scroll down until we find CGI Noir, select it, and click Confirm. We need to set the CGI Noir's weight to negative 30 to get our desired look. Now enter the following text into the prompt and make sure you have the negative prompt turned on and configured with the text as you see here. Don't worry, you can copy and paste the prompts from the description of this video. We need to select 1360 by 768 as our input dimensions, and we need to enter a fixed seed to generate the same image as you see in this video. Enter 41763 for the seed, then do a final check to make sure everything matches and click Generate. Depending on how busy the servers are, this can take a few seconds to a couple of minutes to complete, but the Anime XL is usually pretty quick. Once the generation is complete, you should see the same image as we have. If not, check your inputs and try again. You'll notice on this image, the hand holding the sword has too many fingers. Let's fix it. Hover over the image and click the Edit in Canvas icon. We need to turn off Infinite Mode and run in Focus Mode. This will allow us to generate a more defined revision. We now need to move the Focus Selection box over the area we want to change. In this case, the hand. Set the Render Density to 4x. Let's adjust the selection area and zoom in a little to get a better look. Let's set the image dimensions to 512 by 512. Now, let's select the Draw Mask tool and draw a mask around the extra finger we want to remove. And let's tell Leonardo AI to replace the finger with a sword handle. We need to change our model, so let's click Select Other Model and select the Anime XL model to do our changes with, then click to generate with this model. Set the fixed seed to our original image and click Generate to see what options we get. Option 1 looks pretty good, 2, 3, and 4 do not. So let's go with option 1. Click Accept to apply our new image. Now let's download the new artwork and move on to Runway for animating. Click on the Generative Video tool. This time we'll be using the Gen 3 Alpha model, not the Turbo model. Let's select our saved image from Leonardo AI and open it here for processing. We need it in the first frame to generate the same as this video. Now enter the prompt exactly as shown here. Let's expand the settings and use the following fixed seed to get the same animation. Enter 57061279 and then click Generate. You can use a random seed for a different animation if you wish. Depending on the server load and if you're using Explore Mode or Credits, this can take a few seconds to several minutes to complete. Once the generation is complete, click the icon to see the full prompt. Check the prompt to see if everything matches what we entered, or just click the play icon to see how our clip looks. And don't forget to save the clip for later processing if you're happy with it. Thanks for watching. I'm working on more tutorials to share how the other galleries were created. They may take a while, so please be patient. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. As a little gift, I'll share a little tip with you. You remember the image we generated in Leonardo AI? Well, if you use the same prompt and seed and change a tiny part of the prompt, like changing a full stop to a comma, or changing a different comma to a full stop, it can produce some very close but slightly different results. Even something as simple as changing the way a word is spelt can have minor changes to the image. But take note, the more you change, the more the final image will change, so it's best to only make very minor changes.
although sometimes some small changes can produce some very acceptable results. Have fun generating and see you in the next video.